Hi, good morning, and thank you for joining me. I'm Malkia Stampley, and I will be leading you through a 30-minute yoga session today. Thank you so much for taking this time for your body and spending it with me. It's so important that we take a few moments every day to center our breathing, to, to wake our bodies up a little bit, and to set our intentions for the day, being present for all of the joys and challenges that life brings. So with that, let's get started. On today, I'd like to focus on opening the chest and the shoulders. So often we carry so much stress and tension in our shoulders. And when we do that, it causes them to rise and even hunch over a little bit. And so we're gonna work on opening that up. And in opening the chest and the shoulders, we're opening up our heart as well, um, opening for, um, for receiving all the joys and all the love that, that life brings. With that, let's sit in a comfortable seated, seated position. If cross leg is not available to you today, feel free to do whatever works. Let's close our eyes and place our hands together, thumbs at the sternum. We're beginning to slow down our breath. I invite you to breathe in and out through the nose. With the eyes closed, relaxing the eyeballs, relaxing the eyebrows. With the mouth closed, the jaw is slightly open. Letting the tongue float in your mouth. Relaxing your chin. Inviting your shoulders to relax. And let's invite stillness. The mind will wander, and that's okay. But let's watch those thoughts float away. Focusing only on the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. And release, opening the eyes. Let's drop our right shoulder to our right ear left fingertips reach out to the side inhale exhale release inhale exhale dropping the left ear to the left shoulders right fingertips reaching out to the side Inhale, exhale, inhale as we release and exhale. All right, let's come to all fours. We're going to go into wide leg child's pose or wild, wide child's pose. Knees are splayed nice and wide, sitting on the heels, inhaling, lifting the arms up, and coming forward, exhaling, placing the hands down, reaching those hands out all the way in front, dropping the forehead to your mat. trying to keep your heels connected to your bottom.
letting the belly hang. Already we're opening up the shoulders and the chest. Allow yourself to sink into this pose. Inhale, exhale, release. Awesome. Let's come to all four. Hands right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. From here, taking your right hand, placing it behind your head and inhaling, slight twist towards your right side, elbow up, slight gaze upward. And back to center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, elbow up. Breathing continuously throughout. Inhale, lifting the right arm all the way up. And exhale, threading that right arm through the arm, the left arm and left knee behind the left arm, dropping your right ear to your mat. Reaching your left fingertips out in front of you and feel free to even use that at, for some leverage, pressing against the floor, engaging your upper back. Inhale, lifting the right arm all the way back up and exhale, release. Let's try that on the other side. Left arm comes to, left hand comes to the back of the head, inhaling, lifting the left elbow up towards the sky, turning your gaze towards the left. Exhale back to center. And let's do that one more time. Inhaling, left elbow reaches up. Left arm comes all the way up. And just like before, on the other side, inhale and exhale. Left arm comes behind the right hand, dropping the left shoulder and the left ear to your mat, bringing your right fingertips out in front of you. Feel free to press against the floor. Inviting a slightly deeper stretch here. And inhale, bringing that left arm all the way back up to the sky and exhale, release. Great, from here, from here, curling the toes under, we come to our downward facing dog and pedaling the feet, not quite warmed up just yet, but sinking deep into each one of those hips. And let's warm our bodies up just a little bit. Both feet on the floor, lifting the heels, bending the knees, coming forward to a full plank. Hands under the shoulders. Belly is engaged. Inhale, exhale back to downward facing dog. Let's do that again, bending the knees. Inhale, coming forward to a plank. And back up, lifting that tailbone to downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lifting the heels, 
coming forward to a plank. I'm not dropping my hips all the way down. I'm cupping it just a little bit, my back. Tucking the tailbone just a little bit. And inhale, exhale, release, downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal just a little bit more. to add a little twist, my downward facing dog. Awesome, from here, lifting the right leg up. Inhale and exhale, bringing that knee to the middle in between your right and left hand. Inhale, lift up. Exhale again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bringing that left foot in between your right and left hand to the inside of your right thumb. From here, we're in, we're in a lunge. You can drop that knee if that feels better for you. Coming up, hands on the knees, on the right knee. Pushing forward and coming back to a half split, popping up those right toes. Let's do that again. Pushing forward and popping those toes up. Awesome. And from here, lifting that left knee. We're in a pyramid pose. Do whatever feels comfortable for you. If you have blocks, feel free to grab those. And let's do a little flow here. Going from lunge, that back knee is lifted, to pyramid pose. Let's do this two more times. And back. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. From here. From here, we are going to, I'm going to take my blocks and put them over here. I'm actually going to flip over so that you can see me. So you stay right where you are. Just want to make sure you can see me today. We're going to come up into warrior two. So my left foot, my right foot is in front and I'm going to swing up my left arm, circling towards the back, dropping my left foot, my left heel down, lifting up my right hand. My left foot is parallel to the back edge, the short edge of my mat. I'm looking over my right middle finger. Knee is nice and bent. From here, flip up your right palm, drop your left hand, inhale, reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, dropping the right elbow to the inside of your knee, bringing that left arm up. Inhale, let's do that one more time. Right hand comes up. Exhale, left arm comes over, right elbow to the inside of the right knee. From here, Let's come all the way back down. Right hand and left hand are framing your right foot. From here, taking that right foot back to meet the left. We're in a high plank just for a moment, dropping those knees and exhaling, coming all the way down. 
Inhale, baby cobra for me. Curling the toes under, coming from all fours to downward facing dog. And just pedal those feet out for me. I'm going, you stay right where you are and I'm just gonna flip over so we can do that on the other side. Continuing to pedal out those feet and downward facing dog. And now both heels to your mat, lifting the left foot, inhale and exhale, bringing that knee to the chest. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, to the front. Inhale, exhale, let's bring that foot to the inside, right next to your left thumb. From here, we're back in that lunge position. Let's drop that right knee. Feel free to curl, uncurl your toes or keep them curled under. I bring my hands up to my left knee, pushing forward, inhaling, opening the chest, exhaling, sitting back, popping up those left toes. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. From here, let's place our hands back on the floor. I'm going to grab my blocks as I had them before on the other side, lifting that right me off the floor. And we're gonna do that same flow from before. Inhale and exhale, pyramid pose. You can keep that right heel popped up. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale and exhale. Fold. All right, let's come back to that lunge. I'm gonna move my blocks out to the side. From here, we're going to turn and drop that right heel to the short, parallel to the short edge of my mat. Lifting, inhale the right arm to the back. My left hand right in front looking over my left middle finger. Dropping that right heel down, opening up the hip area, opening up the chest. Making sure you're not clenching those toes. Inhale, flipping that left hand up, coming back, reverse warrior. Exhale, dropping that elbow to the inside of the knee, gazing up. And again, inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. From here, dropping that right hand down, left hand down, framing that left foot. And let's bring that left foot back to meet the right, back in that plank position, dropping the knees or coming all the way down, uncurling the toes, inhale, cobra, exhale, release. From here, inhale, coming to all fours. Let's go into child's pose. Bringing the heels or the big toes together, 
knees are apart, dropping the heels, dropping the butt down to the heels, and reaching those arms out in front. Inhale, coming to all fours. Let's engage the back a little bit and continuing to work on opening up the chest and our shoulders. Hips are right over the knees. From here, we're going into our puppy pose. Bringing those hands out in front, keeping those hips nice and high. Dropping the forehead down to the mat. I invite you, if you are able or willing, to bring your hands together behind your head. Allowing your chest to sink into the mat. Opening up those shoulders. And let's release. Inhale, back to all fours, and release. Now let's sit on our heels. Now let's just do a little bit of a flow, opening up that chest a little bit. So we're coming back, inhaling, opening up the chest, rolling those shoulders back, and exhaling, child's pose. Again, inhaling, rolling up. Exhale, inhale, opening up the chest, dropping those hands back. And exhale, coming all the way up, coming back to downward facing dog, or not, I'm sorry, <laughs> child's pose, not yet downward facing dog. Again, inhale, rolling up. Exhale. This time as we inhale, hands come back. Feel free to lift the hips if that's available to you. If not, just do what we did before. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, rounding the back, child's pose. Because it feels so good. Let's just do it one more time. Inhale, rolling up. Nice and tall. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the hips up if that's available to you. Opening up that chest. And exhale. Coming all the way up. Child's pose. And inhale, rolling up, sitting up nice and tall. Awesome. All right, from here, from here, let's sit in a wide leg position. Wide leg position here. Inhale, both arms up. And we're gonna drop our right hand over to the right side and our left hand over to the right. Inhale, exhale, release the other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, both arms up and let's Twist over to our right side, and you can place your hands down on the floor, or if you'd like to grab your right foot, that's okay too. All right, from here, lifting up, lifting the chest, exhale, 
fold. Inhale, staying your hand, keeping your hands where they are. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, release. Let's go to the other side, twisting towards that left leg, lifting the chest. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lifting the chest, dropping those shoulders. Exhale, fold. Keeping that right hip down on the floor. Inhale, walking the hands back up. Get those legs nice and wide. Hands come down to the middle. Inhale, lifting the chest, dropping those shoulders. And exhale, walking those hands out in front of you. Come to wherever is comfortable and hold. Making sure your toes aren't coming down, keeping those toes nice and up high, pointing towards the sky. Give me some deep belly breaths. Inviting the hips to open up, your quads and your hamstrings to relax, the hips to release. Relax your neck. Feel free to even give me a shake your head no or yes to make sure we're nice and relaxed. A few more breaths here. And release. Awesome. From here. From here, let's come down. All the way down to the floor. Feet are flat on your mat, knees are bent, hands by your side, palms down, inhaling, lifting the hips, squeezing your buttocks, keeping the shoulders down, chin towards the chest, and exhale, release. Let's do that again. Feet firmly planted. Inhale, lifting the hips. Exhale, release. Awesome. From here, just give me a few windshield wipers with your knees. So I'm swaying my knees to the right and to the left, giving a little twist. And from here, bring the soles of your feet together in reverse a reclined butterfly pose. Inviting the knees to be open, heels together, or soles of your feet together. Your hands can be your inner thighs or on your belly or over over your head, whichever is comfortable for you. Inhale, bringing the knees back together, release. Let's bring our legs out. Let those feet be as wide apart as your mat. Palms up towards the sky. We've made it to Savasana.
allowing the body to recover from what we've done in the last 30 minutes. Enjoy this rest for just a moment. I invite you to stay here for a little longer before the sake of time. I'm going to release from this pose, planting my feet on the floor, turning over to my right side in the fetal position, pressing up into a seated position. Crossing my legs back to where we started. Hands in prayer position, thumbs at the sternum, dropping the chin slightly. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking this time. I appreciate you taking the time with me and for yourself. When we allow time to be still, and to be present, allowing the mind to be still and focusing on the breath, then I believe that we can be then more present and gain understanding, more understanding and clarity as we navigate the world outside of the mat. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.